Hey everybody, Asher here, back with more FTL, Faster Than Light, Captain's Edition, where today we continue on our slug ship, the Buff Blob. And we have some sluggies and we have some other people, but unfortunately for me, I didn't see the comments soon enough that said, hey, keep your slug gel, it's a requisition license. Now apparently people get mad at me for piracy. Who knows, but I do have some ways to try and take down shields and everything else. My ship is actually pretty well upgraded. But that sense of optimism is quelled by the fact that I am in the Slug Homeworld, Slug Prime. So we're going to be dealing with a lot of slugs and probably a lot of sluggy shenanigans here. So we do not need to uh, do too much. We can try and hack the station to prevent an alert. Let's try that. You successfully hacked the station and connection to all my ship. You access the station undetected and it is designed to get a drone destroyer and other things. So we get rid of one of those and we get a uh, destroys combat drones attacking your ship reloads in eight seconds that's interesting I wonder how I wonder if that would work on the final boss pretty well now one big issue that I'm gonna run into is that I am low on fuel and if there's one place you don't want to run out of fuel it is slug space alright so we need to jam the enemy's weapons and I don't know if we can actually break their shields too well well let's try anyway First fight we've had with level 3 shields, and we did not successfully take that on. So, we have one slug sitting in the oxygen room like he owns the place. And uh, our doors have been hacked, which is cute. Now we do need the effector here. I said about the only thing we'll be able to do is hack the shields and hope for the best. So we're going to focus those really hard. Oh, good! That would be uh, our doors on fire. That's the nice part about having uh, slugs attack you everywhere. Oh, what a freaking cloak, too. All right. So we're stuck in a fight that I don't know if we can win too well. And we're getting mind controlled in all the wrong places right now. Our doors are offline. Our oxygen's now on fire. So let's send Rock Person to fix that. As long as they don't take out our hacking, I think I'm going to be in a little bit of a better place. And our effector was ineffective. They have the perfect cloak cycle. I am actually going to have to run from this fight or risk uh, actually not surviving, which really sucks. But considering my shields are getting ioned out of the hell too. At least we have a store right here, so that's a lucky, lucky break. Not only because it gives us a chance to, uh, I'm just gonna do a quick check of the everything else here. Uh, beacon access kit, cover your tracks, delay pursuing fleet, requires an empty beacon. Subspace scanner, meh. Drone control could be interesting. I think the biggest thing I'm gonna need to do is, uh, let's sell this for 20. And I guess I don't really need the Defense Scrambler very much for anything that I have. But we'll hold on to it for now, like I said. Repairs. Fuel. I was kind of hoping for something a little better than what was available there. But if we look at our ship, like I said, we just got a few repairs that need to happen. Pronto. I actually need to send our other rock person up here, because there's even more fire. O2 back online. Who else needs healing? Because this is not the Slug Z challenge from oh so long ago. We can actually do this. All right, so Manuel, go here too. And we're going to see if we can survive in Slug Prime a little longer. Whoa, I probably should have waited until my doors were fully repaired. Let's see your surprise chip about slug markings. See a pirate insignia, you quickly reconsider. Let's attack it anyway. Two shields. And you get your console sound alert. Let's target the jammer. And they have, what the hell is that? Defense drone shoots down regular missiles, mines, and asteroids. So that is just a crazy looking drone. So right now, what are, what are we going to do with our power systems here? Because I should probably hack their shields yet again. should probably send the effector on there. So good, that defense drone is apparently going crazy. Why did I hack? That's really annoying. Oh well. Let's see if we can shoot 
Hmm. Do I want to get their weapons or do I want to get their drone control? I think I want to get their shields. There we go. It doesn't seem like they have too much in a great way to repair that, so. Manuel, you still need power. Okay, that's does that actually yeah, our shields block that, so we don't need this right now. Cool. Miss. But that's okay, we'll have our hacks up in just a minute. Okay, and is anybody repairing right now? There is a repair drone in there, so I do need to take out their drone control before too long. But if I could just hit the broad side of a barn with that thing. So there we go. Doors here. Everybody back to your stations. I guess they are. All right. So effector yet again. I love that that defense drone is just going crazy. Probably because of my uh, augment that I just looked at that says, hey, it can't shoot down anything. So that would be a good reason to have that. All right. We'll just keep those doors open for now. Let's see if we can take out the drone control here. No, apparently I cannot hit shit. And now I've got to take out their uh, cockpit in a hurry. Uh, that's a terrible surrender offer. Although I could use the fuel. It's pretty terrible. Okay, I just fired, unfortunately. Oh, well, it's the right thing to fire, at least. Just annoying that that's how I did it. All right. Hackity hack. Do it again. There we go. Why, why is it still charging? Oh, so close to a kill here. They're going to get out in time. Yep. Just a few misses with that effector, and I just don't have a ton of damage. I guess I could have gone for the bio beam and anti personnel laser to try and make that happen. Ugh. That's really too bad. So I'm going to need to power down these weapons and ships and stuff. And if I just, you know what, they didn't even have a repair, repair bar. I probably should have gone for the bio bomb here. Greetings, traveler, care for a fix up. We get it easily. Patch up some of that damage. What kind of payment? Ah, uh, fell business. Uh, 10 damage for 50 scrap. No. If you don't ask for them, then you have a chance of actually getting hit really bad. We'll go over here and see if we can farm just a teeny bit of scrap before that store. I don't feel great about this, but socialize with the crew. Rock crew says, not sure about you, Captain. You are squishy. Ha ha. I'm making a joke, Captain. Do you understand? I understand that I'm not going to be getting anything from this store now, probably other than a little bit of fuel. Okay, so check available equipment. And look at this, a better, an even more powerful effector. And a Leviathan missile battery and a plasma thrower. Fires contrary blast of plasma that deals no physical damage has a good chance to ignite fires. Heavy missile artillery that fires a swarm of missiles that deal at least three damage to the hull. Less like damage to systems and crew. Interesting. I still have some stuff. Guess I'm just gonna have to buy fuel because that's all my money. Let's see if we can pick some better fights here and maybe because if I can get through one shield I can use that light weapon here so. Rock crew member makes the same joke. I guess they have very poor memories. I really need fuel but I'm surprised I've made it this far so. This is like the emptiest slug space ever ever all right need a fight need some fuel that's this is a bad fight to take but and we get to jam something but we still have a burst laser too on our on our trail so what are we gonna do they have no med bay they have level three shields but they have no med bay. So bio bomb's probably going to be our uh, most effective way to make this happen. Let's see if I can just constantly target the weapons room here. See, so yeah, I have six drones. I'm going to try my best not to hack here. Kaboom. Yay. 
so one weapon system down, our level three shields are going to do it. Bio bombs are so strong. I could have just done this last time. Since we're not hacking, might as well move the oxygen there. And one more. Good shots! Four hits with the bombs. Nobody left. 45 scrap and three fuel, which is great. Guess we're going to have to go to the exit, though. Was hoping for, to maybe squeeze in one more jump, but that doesn't seem to be happening. So, by far the least eventful slug sector I've ever had. Tier 3 Outlaw Den or Outlaw's Den? I don't know what Tier 3 means versus the regular one, so let's find out. For fuel, surely somebody will be nice there and give us something. I'm just going to have to do basic engines, fleets doubled, and what? Well, I'm ready to move on. You'll see a message on a nearby ship. Greetings and welcome to our great sector. It's an old tradition here that newcomers have to pay a small entry fee. And, yeah, I'll show you my uh, thing here. Okay. Too bad you'll regret this decision. Now, they have a lot of lasers. And I'm going to have to hack through their ship. Alright, jammers are active. So they still, so they they just break through. Alright. Well, bio bomb's not going to work super awesome here, so we'll see what we can do. With our standard complement of weapons is we are getting anti-ship battery too. How cute, guys. How cute. Alright. Oh. Did I just hack the med bay? Damn it! Okay. Well, okay, well, I guess, you know what? Let's go biobomb. Let's try not to get destroyed, though, guys. Seriously. Okay, so there's a swing and a miss, and there is a uh, breach in our hull. Okay, I may just, I'm going to need to get out of town here in just a second from the looks of it, because that, that is a lot of fire, which is not great. We need to send somebody over for shields. Well, hey, I didn't want to pay your stupid toll. There we go. So we'll see what else we can find here. Three fuel remains. And look at this. A... Uh, Immediately after arriving in the system, you're hailed by a station. We know who you are and what you care. You have to get past us. You want to make a beacon, except you won't. Well, um, this this may have been good flying with you guys. That's a lot of people to bio bomb. And there is a enemy combat drone, and my ship is still mostly on fire right now. So how are we going to do this? They have a lot of weapons, and. They have a lot of shields. How do we do this? I mean, we're not going to miss this time. It's just going to be a problem when everything fires all at once. I need to know what kind of drone that is. Well, it's it's doing the spin of friendship or whatever because nobody uh, can save it. So here we go. Shots on us. That is a uh, massively terrible drone. And I already could have been taking out their crew. I wish you guys would share rooms a little more. Oh, damn it. Okay. So we ran. You're not supposed to run. Okay, that did stop the drone. So that's a plus. All right, I'm gonna have to micromanage this a little better here because that's a flat cannon. Good, good thing we missed there. All right, drone control is gonna be able to keep that offline for a little bit. I just don't want to get beamed. I don't know what the green beam means. Probably means bad news. Okay, once again, no clone bay or anything. Okay, just had clicking problems. Okay, lots of weird slowdown all of a sudden. All right, we're at twenty. We're at twenty bio bombs. Once again, the light laser. The problem is that 
It only pierces, well, it pierces two shields. Okay, really starting to get tired of my inability to uh, click on things correctly. Wow, what is, seriously, I'm not sure what's going on right here. Let's see if we can hackety hack this. And I guess we don't particularly need air right now. And we're just gonna see if we can possibly mow down some of these guys. That's a good start. And one more, should be good. So the good news is that they only did a little bit of damage to us. The bad news is that our hacking's down. So we need to get our shields up and repaired. And I guess we need air again. So that's a little more important. All right, so drones, drones, everybody loves drones. At least the bio bomb's nice and fast, right? And then one more time, you know what? We actually may live through this. There's no signs of life around the station. You strip it clean. Not before getting flat. All right, we are not quite dead, but the buff blob is close. So light cannon, still okay. Defense scrambler, decent. We're gonna need a heal before long. And that was a lot of bombs, but I think it's worth it. In truth, we've been, of course we've been boarded. Why wouldn't we be boarded? Let's get you guys. Oh. I guess we don't really want to vent from there, so. Let's turn off the air again. Nothing nothing crazy. Oh wow, just barely managed to avoid this extra system damage. From that tandem of happy people don't know why they're boarding us in a nebula like they think it's a good idea but you're probably gonna die anyway so let's close this door at least that's where you're going okay enjoy shooting those shields all right so captain's edition the doors stay open and everyone's just enjoying their air-free life. Sounds good to me. All right, so you're gonna be just fine. Which means we need you to heal, and I think that'll be it for our uh, crew reflections here. Yeah, I like that this ship provides a pretty drastically different style of play than uh, some other ships in the game. And I'm sitting on 100 some scraps, so I could probably use to upgrade something before too long. Let's see, probably hacking. But maybe my oxygen system wouldn't be bad considering some of the random things that come up. I feel like if I can hold out for a store perhaps, maybe if I jump over here, that gives me a chance to see some some potential stores. I'm gonna have to buy some repairs. So, you before you have time, make contact with the attempt to follow and help them. And you stumble upon a rebel ship which the Federation lowest were likely hiding from. And we can fight them. And they have a med bay and they have a uh, cloak. So that'll be fun. And the hacking is effective. Hooray. Well, we're not going to biobomb these guys. Not this time. Let's go and get this charged up. Okay, so they'll fire their three volleys. Nope, not three volleys. Let's see what we can get from this. Definitely need to get the O2 back up. All right. See if we can take out the cloaking first. Okay, 
Here we go. Now we don't have to worry about that. I'm not going to touch the weapons because right now this isn't really a threat. It's just giving my shield guy some very valuable experience. Okay, unfortunate miss. Effector hits though. Could still try and bio bomb the crap out of him, but Let's see if we can hit the cockpit a little bit. Nope. At least my weapons are fast charging, if nothing else. But I'm not really viable for the end game with this setup, unless I want to face the wrath of uh, everything by having no crew. Now they're going to be able to repair. Maybe I should switch the bio bomb here if they're both going to be sitting in there. All right. One down. I think that's worth it. Because that stops the repair as well. Yay, good things. Alright, so what do we got here? That was a fail. It's a pretty damn big fail. Alright. Okay, how am I going to make this happen? One more. No. I just don't do enough damage. That is really my principal problem. Now, if I was using the light gun, maybe I could have made that work. But there's some bomb volleys that I missed, to be sure. Let's go up here. So I need to find some other kind of weapon to replace something. Let's manually search the wreckage, and we get a breach cluster bomb. Well, that is a, a good pickup, maybe. 22 second charge time. Uh... Requires two power, crew damage 15, system damage one, stuns for three seconds. It's interesting, that's for sure. But I think we do need to try and seriously find a place where I can get some fuel. Alright, you jump leads you to nothing but empty space. The jump beacon serves no purpose other than a connection. Suddenly, he reports a weak incoming teleport signal. The internal sensors said nothing. But ordinary, though. Slug, can you sense intruders on board? Yes, Captain, he is a bounty hunter. He has a personal cloaking device. His ship is close to us and he wants to sabotage our life support. The rebels hired him. Be careful. He's very dangerous and not afraid. All right, so there's a ship. You reconfigure the internal sensors and sound the alert. Heavily modified auto assault immediately decloaks right above your ship. The AA is not firing yet, but sends out drones to assist its master. Let's go ahead and get the weapons here. So, there is our uh, friend. Let's send the welcoming committee. What? That's fun. And none of my systems are powered. Because I'm a moron. Alright. Well, good news is that I don't have to worry too much about some of these things. Alright, so... Is he like some super powerful person that's just trying to break through and kill our pilot? Maybe. So we're going to try and take out their drone control first, I guess. We'll see how this goes. As it's going right for our life support. What? Double miss. Where's my Linnaeus crew when you need them, right? So our oxygen's currently being attacked. That's cool. Let's stop that for a second. Okay, Effector doesn't seem to be very effective right now. If we kill him, I think we just stop this fight. No, apparently not. And we gotta get Bindy out of there in a hurry. Alright, what do I want to take on? I think I need to take on this. So let's get you way out of here. So for some reason their ship is... Uh, 
I don't know what that thing is, but I don't like it. If I mouse over an enemy combat drone, attack your ship can be shut down by damaging the drone system. Alright, I guess we'll send you two in here just to deal with the intruder. Oh, he has a clone bay! Oh, I'm forgetting my basic FTL mechanics. And he's trying to assassinate our captain, my captain. It might actually work too. All right, so once I take out the dr the clone bay, it should be all right. Did not need to do it that way. Okay, so he's looking for a fair fight yet again. This is this you know this is at least a fun, interesting kind of combat here. Not what you typically see in this game, to be sure. That was a crappy miss. We do have repairs on the oxygen, except the oxygen system is down. There's another boarding drone, so whatever. Unfortunately, this guy is going to be back with the clone bay. Coming up here probably just a second. Now I got another person who's dying. Okay, so there's our top flight assassin. Let's see if we can do a quick O2 repair and get you on the doors. Oh, Jesus, that's a breach in there, too. Okay. That's not what we call good news. All right. For great justice, take off every zig. Oh! Oh, I got him. Kind of. Got my own crew by comparison. Okay, so we need to fix the O2 ASAP. We're still doing like wet noodle damage here. We just gotta do one more damage on the clone bay. Oh, Jesus Christ. This was handled poorly. Alright, suddenly I, I want for a. Uh, wow, really? I didn't get out that again? Okay, we just need to get you all to the engine room and hope that we can suffocate you out. This is going to be tricky. Come on. Oh, resisting damage. We have we have died to an event yet again. That's that's awesome. I mean, don't get me wrong. I feel like I could have handled that better in probably a lot of ways, especially with that, but my ship just it does it does so little damage to like actual ships. Still the buff blob fun game just Oh, that got that got away from me. If I had just done damage and actually taken out that clone bay, that would have been an easy fight. But I didn't see it because I don't know. I don't want to say I'm rusty, but that's probably the best excuse is that I'm rusty. Still, hope you all enjoyed screaming at the screen at me. Thanks for watching. We'll do this again, Captain's Edition, another ship. Tell me your thoughts about it. I'm still I'm still a little mixed about it. On the one hand, I like it. On the other hand, there is so much new that I still feel a little overwhelmed sometimes. But thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.